we shall now learn how to send and receive json json as we know is javascript object notation and the nice thing is that your c sharp dynamic objects or anonymous objects they can map they map direct they they can be translated directly to json object notation nothing special is required so you can just create an anonymous object from your action method and return it as usual and that anonymous object can be read as json directly as we'll show in this project we created a basic mbc application add controller home controller this is our index method and we can add the view also click add this is the view where we'll display the json and this is the controller where we will uh, return that json i'll do one thing i'm creating a public action result get json and suppose there is a parameter also string str company here we are returning return json object data so we can directly return an anonymous new we'll we'll write name is equal to hoven email is equal email is equal to i'll just wrap it off support at hoven trainings dot com company name is equal to company so the basic point which i'm trying to illustrate here is how to return a json by receiving any argument this argument can be used to query your database and once you query your database you can return data in the form of an anonymous object new a dynamic property email is another property company name is another property we haven't done anything with this company here except that returning it back into a property with name company name since we are just illustrating this is how you return a json object this way write new put any properties you like let us now come back to our index.chtml and begin to write the process for receiving this json we can write at the rate ajax dot action link link text get json action name is i'll just check up this is get json this is the action name ajax options new ajax